Week 7, First Malayan Emergency, 1948-1960, Briggs Plan and Military Operations. First Malayan Emergency, 1948-1960, Briggs Plan and Military Operations. MPAJA Malayan Communist Party MCP Reactions 1948-1960 PKM June 1948, MCP launched a full-scale armed revolt in the country. Three British officers were killed at Sungai Siput. Sir Henry Gurney was ambushed and killed on his way to Fraser Hill. Some Chinese who decided to make Malaya their home were unhappy with the less generous citizenship terms offered under the new federal constitution, seeing it as a setback. Aims of MCP Struggle Disrupt the Malayan economy Defeat the British government Set up a communist republic in Malaya Sir Henry Gurney CPM, Three Strategic Phases Firstly, cripple the economy by sabotage of infrastructure, road, railway, water supply, power supply, communication and industry, by systematic harassment and raid by guerrilla organization. Secondly dash. Create a situation aimed at forcing government present out of hinterland thus enabling the CPM to control the rural area. Dato on Jeffa. Sir Harold Briggs. Sir Gerald Templer. The government declared a state of emergency. Over the next four years, the British with their superior firepower could not make any headway against the MCP due to Chinese support in the countryside. In 1952, the British granted citizenship and land to win over the Chinese peasants, relocated them to new villages and fenced them up behind barbed wires. The support for the MCP was cut. Their source of food was stopped. Gerald Templer as new High Commissioner, new scheme introduced, black and white area. Government and military campaign against CT into four periods. The war in Malaya had become a jungle struggle. The tactic had changed to war of ideas, of patrols, of strict controls on regulation and food supply. High Commissioner of Malaya, Sir Henry Gurney was killed in an ambush by CT on 60 CT 1951 at Fraser Hill. Malayan National Liberation Army, MNLA. June 1950. 5,000 guerrilla into 12 regiments. Train derailment by communist terrorists was aimed at intimidating the public as well as to cripple the economy of the country. Throughout the emergency a total of 197 trains were derailed. Chin Peng, CPM Secretary General. Abdullah C.D., CPM Central Committee Member. Rashid Maidan, CPM Central Committee Member. Musa Ahmad, Chairman CPM. CPM Review Strategy in 1952. Firstly, 
party members' primary duty was to extend and consolidate the organization of the masses. Secondly, called for building up of revolutionary base. Thirdly, to rectify propaganda work. Fourthly, to gain control through terror, intimidation and murder were to be drop. Government strategies. Civil. Military. Civil countermeasure. Legislation. The Emergency Regulation Ordinance, 1948, covering subjects such as possession of firearms, power of arrest, detention, control of food supply and clearing of undergrowth along selected route. Curfew was imposed and prohibited and control area was created. Compulsory registration of the population e the identity card system was introduced. Populous and Resource Control PRC. A planned device by Sir Harold Briggs, a resettlement program was initiated about 42,300 Chinese squatters living on jungle fringes was moved into about 400 new villages, Briggs plan. This scheme denied the CT of food and manpower. New Villages Briggs Plan Food Denial Operation This interrupt the CT sources of food supply. Hearts and Minds Operation When Sir Gerald Templer was appointed as High Commissioner and Director of Operation in Jan 1952, he put emphasis on winning the hearts and minds of the people. The main theme of strategy were to call for a total effort political, economic, cultural, social and military. Control of Aborigines Jungle fort were established in several areas. Protection was provided by police force that eventually became trading post thus they shifted to new area and soon cooperate with the SF to eliminate the CT bases. Social Development Improving the social standard of the peoples through a number of development program. National Education Policy Medical services were expanded. Development of rural areas Measure was taken to improve economy by land. Development project, rubbery planting scheme, improve road systems and telecommunication facilities. Unified command and control system. Federal War Council at federal level and war executive community were established at state and district level. Federal level, Chef Sec of Govt, Commissioner of Police, and Commander of Army, and Air Force. State level, Chief Minister, Chief Police Office, and Brigade Commander. District level, District Officer, District Police Officer and Battalion Commander. When Jan Templer took command he merged the Federal War Council and Federal Executive Council and civil policy making body thus became a single process under the single head. Top Malay, Chinese and Indian community leaders brought actively against CT. Military Countermeasures Trackers brought in because of their expert jungle knowledge. Intelligence. 
In 1951 police force introduced SB intelligence gathered by SB past him I F R S F operations. Final check by troopers of a squadron, Federation Armored Corps at Raza Camp, Seremban. Force level. Early 1948, the British Army in Malay. Three British BN, six Gurkha BN and two Malay BN. One British BN arrived from Hong Kong. Three guards BN arrived from UK. The police force less than 10,000 increased to 30,000 special constables within six months. Gen. Templar increased the military force to 20 battalions. Police force regular and auxiliary from 22,000 to 154,000. A 100-man communist terrorist camp found by 1st BN. Coil in North Malaya 1950. Federation Armoured and Artillery Battery Recruits being trained to meet expansion program of the Army. A ferret scout car on security patrol in Northern Malaya. Squadron, Federation Armoured Gar Regiment getting ready to move OFF from Raza Camp, Seremban. Commonwealth military forces with Malayan soldiers. Commonwealth military forces with Malayan soldiers. This photograph was taken during Twagunstafford's attack on top leader Law Yu, whose body lies on the right. A few moments later CTS counter-attacked and all the women prisoners were killed in the crossfire. Complimentary remarks by Templar. Naval contribution. The Royal Navy and RMN were given primarily to assist civil authority and control illegal entry as well as smuggling activities. Air support. The best air support were provided by helicopter. Firstly to deploy very quickly into remote area in response to intelligence report. Secondly from evacuation this provide morale booster to soldier. Thirdly to transport supplies for aborigines. Proclamation of Independence at Murdika Stadium on 31 August 1957 Chief Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman with Malayan soldiers The British did not trust the Chinese with power or arms as they were worried that the Chinese would support the largely Chinese Malayan Communist Party. 
so the British started draining Ammo to take power. They were allowed to take over the army, the police, the special branch, the bureaucracy. Throughout the period up to Merdeka in 1957, Ammo showed their loyalty towards British to ensure their continued support. In the bailing talks in 1955 with Chin Peng of the MCP, Tunku Abdul Rahman refused to agree to allow the MCP to register as a legitimate party in exchange for the ending of the emergency. Bailing Talks, Withdrawal of CPM to Southern Thailand Osman China, top communist propagandist persuaded to surrender by David Stoyer. Chin Pen, leader of the Communist Party, at the bailing talks in 1955. Hulu, one of the communist leaders whom he persuaded to surrender. Citizenship and the Murdica Constitution. 